picture this. You're at the beach, you're having a nice time with your friends, you know, everyone's getting along and having a wonderful time. But things change suddenly. Something that you didn't notice. What happened? Were you not careful? Hey, uh, you guys from around here? Not no. really. Okay, so guessing you guys didn't check the tides today. What tides? Tides. Is that an app? There's an app for that. Yep, it's in your paper as well. Um, you know, high low tides, things like that. Okay, we need to check that out. Yeah, we should have checked that out. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you guys have a minute, I'd be more than happy to tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Cool. All right, cool. Follow me. Okay, thank you. What are tides? What are tides? Well, you know how the sea level rises and falls daily? That is the tides. How do you predict tides? Step one, measure the tides. Step two, learn trigonometry. Trigonometry is useful stuff, all related to triangles. If you know one side and one angle of any right angle triangle, then with trig, you can figure out all the other angles and lengths. This is useful stuff. If you look at all the different right triangles you can make that have the hypotenuse equal to one, they trace a circle called the unit circle. If you move the radius around the circle, you will notice that it draws a very familiar wave. When plotting the unit circle on a graph with the origins at the center of the circle, Figuring where the circle crosses the axis is simple. If you want to figure out the coordinates for other points of the circle, that's what the cosine and sine are for. The cosine of an angle equals the ratio of the length of the adjacent side of the triangle over its hypotenuse, and the result is the x-coordinate. Similarly, the sine of an angle is the length of the opposite side of the angle over the hypotenuse, and the result is the y-coordinate. The coordinates for each of the points that define the unit circle can be defined using the cosine of the angle for the x-coordinate and the side of the same angle for the y-coordinate. The ones shown here are useful ones to memorize. If a dot travels around the unit circle once per second, you can plot the y-coordinates against time. The result is a wave that looks a lot like a tidal graph, but on a different scale. Therefore, this wave can be described by trigonometric equation. Once you have an equation, you can make predictions about the tides. To get an accurate tidal prediction, you need to sum a number of a different wave functions. But each one alone is a simple sinusoidal wave. Take the time to learn trigonometry so you can check the tides, and your next beach party won't get washed away. My name is Steve Calhoun with Kilroy Academy. I'll see you at the beach.